Stand up, please. Stand up, everybody. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mr. Scott Kemmer, and uh, I have with me today Mr. Ben Saylor. We are the elementary band and string directors from Eisenhower Elementary School and Horace Mann Elementary School. We'd like to welcome you tonight to a wonderful showcase of music making that's going to show you the hard work from our talented students from fourth grade on into fifth grade, uh, where we currently are. So the, the ensemble that you see before you, and I'm going to stress this a lot tonight, is Eisenhower and Horace Mann together. This is every fourth grade student studying an instrument in our district. Let's have a round of applause for that. The performance we have for you tonight is a national celebration across the country. Uh, it's a package that you can take part in called the First Performance Concert. And this concert helps our students in fourth grade get over that fear of getting on stage in front of a massive audience. <laughs> So it's a very interesting performance, and we have a special guest speaker this evening with us. Would you help me in welcoming Ms. Erin Eisenman to the stage as our narrator? She was kind enough to volunteer to help us with their first performance and to support them along the way in their first ever performance. Uh, boys and girls, if you can show rest position, and we will go ahead and get started. Enjoy. Thank you. Good evening, moms, dads, brothers, sisters, grandmas, grandpas, aunts, uncles, friends, and neighbors. It is a thrill to be present for this, for, with these young musicians on their this year's first performance, National Day of Celebration, a day that has been designated to recognize the achievements for beginning musicians. We know that each and every one of you are, will be pleasantly surprised at their many accomplishments, at their many accomplishments at, that they have accomplished over these first several months. We at the Indiana Area School District value music education and know that the programs like these are what teach students the skills needed for them to proceed and to succeed in later careers. 
Play, playing an instrument takes physical coordination and mental con concentration. It takes regular practice, time at home and at school, <coughs> excuse me, and efforts to support them all the way makes all the difference and we thank you for that. All of our musicians tonight have demonstrated the ability and the desire to play and earn membership in the Eisenhower and Horace Mann Elementary String and Band Program. In this evening's performance, the students will demonstrate what they have learned up to this point in their brief but very successful musical careers. After learning how to take the instrument out of the case and assemble it, we finally got, they finally got a chance to take that first step and, and what they wanted to do and make a sound. And it sounded something like this. <laughs> It was obvious that they had a, we had some challenges ahead of us and they had some things to learn in the next few months. But Mr. Kemmer and Mr. Saylor had, and had, to, had to wonder what was possible. Throughout the fall, Mr. Kemmer and Mr. Saylor worked proudly and patiently with our students and they all came to produce their first note. Now the first note sounded like this. by connecting their, continuing their ear training skills and the actual performance of specific notes on their respective instruments. With a form of music audiation called soflege, students were now able to connect the sound coming out of the instrument to actual recognizable notes and music. Do, re, mi, re, do. Do, re, mi, fa, so. Do, re, mi, fa, so. Do, ti, la. Do, ti, la. So, fa, mi, re, do. So, fa, mi, re, do. Producing those first notes allowed them to continue their lessons where they were able to count and learn how to count while they played. This is important to help them play together as a team. Down, down. taking hold. This is what we heard at school that day. The 
students continued to follow this step-by-step -step process and they completed every step along the way. Everyone was convinced that this was going to be one of the finest beginning instrumental groups ever. Here is one of their favorite pieces. since that first note and they have worked very hard to prepare this first performance in such a short time. This has certainly been an exciting performance for all of us and we are glad that you were here to help us celebrate this important milestone in their musical careers. Support at home is vital if your son or daughter is going to continue to progress at this quick pace and please, and please feel free to visit with Mr. Kemmerer and Mr. Saylor for ideas on how to support your child's practice schedule. You can be sure that they are looking forward to com communicating with you on how your child can progress. We, now, we, 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 yeah. we will now present our final selections. The string students will perform a composition entitled Boil Them Down, Cabbage Down. And the band will finish the concert with the always popular hot bundt cakes. Ladies and gentlemen, you have just witnessed Eisenhower and Horseman Elementary School's first performance day celebration. I think they did fantastic. Why don't you show them by some more applause how well you think they did. We are very pleased and gratified with the achievements of our young musicians and we look forward to them continuing on with their growth in the musical field. We will continue our concert with our fifth grade winter showcase featuring our fifth grade band and strings combined with our fourth grade and fifth grade chorus. Just give us a moment to transition. Can we please have a round of applause for Ms. Uh, Eisenman for helping us out? Thank you so much. 
ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I'm kind of stating the obvious here, but we are so lucky at Eisenhower to have an administration and a faculty and a staff that supports music education. And I think that's a very, very lucky thing to have in our community. So thank you so much for doing this. It's absolutely fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, as she said, uh, our concert in December got canceled because of weather, just to keep everyone safe from on the roads. So what we did was we tacked on our winter concert after this. So what's gonna happen? This is for the adults and for the students. The students are gonna go back to the orchestra room. You're gonna put your instruments away and if you're in chorus, you're gonna wait it out for chorus. What we did was we have a live stream of this event, which call me old, it's still amazing to me that we can do that. <laughs> so the students back in the rooms are able to watch the live event back there while they wait for their next ensemble. So once we close the curtains, everyone's gonna go back there and watch. We're gonna set up for fifth grade orchestra and from now until the end, it's going to be a winter concert. I mean, it's still winter, isn't it? <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> so thank you for your patience. Appreciate it. Don't move yet. Don't move yet. Don't move yet. We're going to get you out of here the same way we got you in.
Check, check. All right, it is my pleasure to introduce the fifth grade string orchestra. Most of the music that you're going to hear this evening is vaguely winter themed. And so it won't seem too out of place that these are being performed on a January concert event that's been rescheduled from a holiday concert. The next two pieces you're about to hear are an unmistakable exception to that. These are two pieces from the very famous Nutcracker Ballet. The first piece that you're going to hear is a movement from the beginning of that ballet called March. Mr. Kemmerer is going to conduct that. And the second movement is the highly familiar Russian dance. So we hope you enjoy these two selections from Pyotr Tchaikovsky's Nutcracker Suite. Stand up.
Let's have another round of applause for our work at Church. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not sure if you realize, but this is Eisenhower and Horace Mann, like I said. But if you think about that for a second, we're learning these pieces in separate schools. So we've, they've had one hour and 15 minutes to put this together. So that's why Mr. Saylor and I are so like, yes, we did it! Because we put them all together, right? So very good job. If you could give us about seven minutes as we get the band and we transition into the next ensemble, we'd appreciate it. Thank you very much.
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The ensemble that you see on stage now is our premier elementary ensemble. This is the fifth grade wind band, and it's comprised of students in fifth grade from Eisenhower and Horace Mann. Most have had a year and a half of study at this point, but some of them in this group have only had five months of study, and they've caught up to the point of the other students. I'd like to recognize those students now. Could you please stand up if you started your band instrument this school year for the first time? Percussion. Raise your hand percussion if that's you. Bravo. So I'm not sure if you know what that means. That means that, you know, they skipped through a whole year of study and caught up to everyone, which is absolutely fantastic. That is called hard work. The first piece that we are going to perform for you is a slow piece. It's called Farewell at Dawn. And we've been talking with the students about trying to be expressive, especially at their young age. It's quite hard to do uh, on an instrument. So you'll hear them try to shape the sound and make things soft and make things loud and just show you splashes of color that give you a nice, uh, a nice feeling. So I hope you enjoy Farewell at Dawn. The final piece that the fifth grade band is going to perform is something completely different. Rather than being something slow and expressive, this is a bit faster and has a bit more of a punch. It's a medley of two songs, which means it's an arrangement where they jam pack two songs in there so that we can get them all done in one song. We think you're going to be able to follow along with the melodies of these well-known songs pretty well. If you listen carefully, you'll see them hop from section to section. We sincerely hope you enjoy Deck the Holidays.
I always feel that it's so short after we play those two pieces. They've worked so hard on it. Can we have another round of applause for them, please? Bravo, stand up, stand up. You guys worked so hard. Bravo. All right, go ahead and sit down. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a pretty large transition at this point. We're gonna transition into chorus, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about it later, but chorus, has turned into something where it's not mandatory and students can just join or not join if they're not comfortable singing or not if they are comfortable singing. So what we need to do is clear the stage and bring the risers on. It's gonna be a little bit longer of a transition. I apologize for that. So if you could just have some patience with us as we get this finale on, okay? Thank you very much.
Guys, what did I say? Right? I told you it would happen. They're not getting it. Guys, go ahead. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This is not only Eisenhower and Horace Mann combined. It's Eisenhower and Horace Mann fourth grade and Eisenhower and Horace Mann fifth grade combined. So this is everyone that loves to sing at our two elementary schools. And I think uh, you would agree with me when I say they love to sing. <laughs> Very good job. Uh, the first piece that we uh, sang for you is titled, Let's Take a Sleigh Ride, and it's based off of a theme by Prokofiev, who's a classical composer. Uh, you're gonna notice that all of our music that we're doing is all about snow, and luckily right now we don't have snow, but uh, we're kind of honor <laughs> honoring snow with our uh, choral side of things. The next piece that we'd like to sing for you is a wonderful arrangement could you raise your hand if you've ever seen the movie White Christmas? Does anyone know that movie, White Christmas? There's a wonderful scene when they're on their way to Vermont and they're sitting in the dining car of the train and they sing about uh, snow. Our wonderful Mr. Sailor arranged this for two-part children's choir. So I think you're really gonna love this arrangement of it. This is Snow, written by Irving Berlin.
Ladies and gentlemen, before we sing and perform our last piece of the evening, I'd like to take a moment to thank each and every one of you as parents of these wonderful children. Boys and girls, foot stomps for these individuals out in the audience. We really appreciate all of the support and continued support that you give for my Eisenhower families, all of the emails that I sent and the calendars and today's a day two, today's a day one. Thank you so much for your patience as we get through this. Um, your support at home with the instrumentalists as well with practicing, it's just absolutely fantastic. We have a really special thing here at Indiana and we plan to keep it going for a very long time. So thank you for that. We'd also like to thank our administrators and our school board, our superintendent, because as you can see, they value music education and music performance, and it's a very special thing. I'm hoping that a lot of you walk out of here tonight with, with huge hearts for music, and I hope that you've been, been touched by what we've, we've done for you on stage, especially when you remember their age. Right? I think that's an absolutely amazing thing. So bravo to you students for all of that. Uh, our last piece, oh, I'm sorry. Thank you to our music colleagues in the back and on stage, Mr. Zach Karcher and Dr. Jason Rummel. I don't know if you noticed, but they were playing in the band as well. So they're back and forth moving things. So can we have a round of applause for all of them? <laughs> There are so many people behind the scenes. We have fourth grade teachers, fifth grade teachers out in the rooms where the students are waiting to perform, which you could probably guess they were bouncing off the walls because of adrenaline and wanting to go. So thank you teachers for all the calls and pulling students out of classes to practice. It was absolutely fantastic. So as a gift to all of you, we're gonna end with a slow number that hopefully you can take home with you. It's titled Angels in the Snow. There's not really anything intellectual about this one. It's just a beautiful song to learn. So I hope you enjoy Angels in the Snow. Thank you very much. Can you think of someone to sing to? Think of someone you love to sing to.
Let's have another round of applause for our chorus. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for a wonderful evening. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I think logistically, the best thing to do is to allow the students to grab their stuff and then come up because the hallways aren't that uh, wide. So it's just gonna turn into everyone everywhere. So I think the best thing is just to let them go back to their rooms, get their stuff, and they'll meet you in the foyer, right? I think that's the best thing to do. So have a very pleasant evening. Thank you so much. <laughs>